I was really young when my mom first got diagnosed with cancer. By the time they caught it, it had spread too far, so the only thing that they could do was to let her die. She was over at Sloan Kettering in the terminal ward for about six months. When she first got there, she told my dad that her only wish was to see her family grow up, but that that was impossible now. So she told him to bring us there and to say our goodbyes and to leave and to not come back. She didn't want us along for the bumpy ride, as she put it. So from then on, it just became the most important thing in my father's life to somehow give her her last wish. So he quit his job and he sold the house and he moved us into the city. And he somehow got through miles of red tape to secure a permit to put up a swing set and a sandbox outside her window next to the parking lot where she could see us. My brother and I used to play there for hours. My dad took us there every day that summer, after school, that fall, and on weekends. And every time my brother would ask him, why here? You know, why would you drive all the way here to this swing set? He would say, because mom's in heaven now, but she has a particularly good view of this swing set. <laughs> Anyway, when my aunt told me that story, it was when I was just starting to date boys, so... She said, what your father did for your mother, Lisa, that is love. Be strong, Lisa. Hold out for a guy who loves you like that. And so every time I... I was dating a guy, it was so long before I could even give someone a decent kiss without thinking whether or not they would sit outside my window while I died for six months.